Welcome, my name is Kelly. And I'm Emma. And this is Fanimated, an animation fan podcast where we get a chance to geek out about our favorite animated media. And this is a What You're Watching where we're going to just like geek out and tell you about what we've been watching. And as well, um, this is a very special What You're Watching because this is, as the name implies, the last What You're Watching. <laughs> you, you may be asking yourself, well, why, why is this why? the last? Yeah. What is happening? Um, well... Um, to give you the quick recap information, Fanimated will be retiring on September 26th. Um, so what you need to know, I'll give you all the quick details right now, but then at the end of the episode, after we've been geeking out a little bit, I will go more deep into why this is happening, why Fanimated is retiring, and what you can look forward to next. Um, and for now... Um, basically, as I said, our final episode will be airing on September 26th. From uh, now on, through August and September, there will be five new full episodes. Four or five. And so definitely keep an ear out for those. You'll be able to listen to all of our episodes on your podcasting platform of choice until December 31st of 2023. After which, our podcast will only be available on YouTube at the Fanimated YouTube channel. Um, and any new content that does come out will be on the YouTube channel. Um, and so definitely stay tuned for all of the our final episodes coming up. Really excited about it. And... We'll give you a full, full more information here at the end of this this quick little conversation. But um, that's all the quick information for you to know. But yes, Fanimate is 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 coming to a close. <laughs> sad day. <laughs> I know it is really sad. It's been five years, and that's why we're ending on September twenty sixth. By the way, because that is the like five year, you know, anniversary mm-hmm. time. So it, it like the thing is, I just. Maybe we just go into it right now. <laughs> it's like sure. it's hard to say talk about this stuff without like yeah. just saying the full information. But like, um, it, I didn't want this uh, this podcast to just peter out and die. Like, I want to actually have um, an ending. Like, give it a proper send off because it's been very successful in all the ways I would ever want it to be successful, um, both in my own growth and in audience and and just having a good time. Um, and so, like, I want to send it off correctly. So um, these next five episodes are going to be me with all of my regular guests, and they have gotten the chance to choose whatever topic they want to to be their last topic for the, for the show. Um, and I'm really excited about our final episode, so <laughs> no spoilers, but stay tuned <laughs> um, because it'll be really a perfect ending. Um, and so, like, this has been—I mean, this has been coming for a long time for me. Um, it it kind of, like there for for now at least. Um, there is another podcast episode you can listen to on the Patreon. Anyone can hear it. Um, I just put it as public. So that anyone can go into the more deep dive conversation. Like, I, I just verbally process everything. But for those listening here, like, it's basically all comes down to um, me being a, in a different place in life and a shift in values. Like, when I started in 2018, I, like, was, I had my very first full-time job. Um, <laughs> I had, like, stopped doing theater stuff. I didn't have a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> take up so much time. They, they, significant <laughs> others take a significant amount of your time. <laughs> As they should. I, yes, and I am very happy to give that. Um, and I, I, I was looking for an outlet for this, you know, like this this energy, this geek dumb energy that I have. And like it just, I was listening to so many podcasts. I was like, why don't I just make my own? And it, like, turned into a five-year-long project, which yeah. I did not anticipate. Like, yeah. that is that is insane. It really is. Like, <laughs> that's a five-year-old going into kindergarten. 
Yes. <laughs> okay. So my podcast is old enough to go to kindergarten. And so that feels like a long time. <laughs> um, and like now it's um, like I kind of broke it down into five things of one, I no longer watch as much animation. I'm always going to be an animation fan, but I don't want to be stuck um, having to know every new thing that's coming out in the animation in world. Um, two, in all the directions Fanimated could go, um, and in all the directions it could go, I mean as in swishing it up, making it different, making it a little more um, challenging or engaging for myself, it still isn't enough for me to want to pursue it. Number three, my creative energies are just going in different directions. Um, and I want to pursue those other things. Like this has been a really fantastic learning experience of five years. I've gained a lot of really cool skills and I'm ready to do that with something else. And mm -hmm. um, I'm really excited about those possibilities. I don't know exactly what they are, but I just want to like see where that takes me. Um, and number four, I just want to hang out with my friends. Like <laughs> <laughs> even tonight, Emma is here with me and we like had dinner and just chatting about our lives. Like, um, and then we had to stop our conversation and be like, okay, we have to record now, which is <laughs> great. Which is great. Yeah. You know, and like this podcast has helped me foster m more deeper relationships with my friends because we are meeting up more regularly. Like this gives us a reason to meet up. But I want to meet up just because we want to chat and not because we, you know, we'll still be geeking out about animation. We just don't mm -hmm. need to have a microphone and like hundreds of people listening to us every time we do that. Right. Um, and then number five is that like we have said most of the things we want to say. Like I don't feel like I, like just as I started this podcast to get all that energy out, like I feel like I've gotten the energy out. Like I think, you know. Yeah. And we've hit a lot of like the big like uh, monumentous like animation pieces in our life yeah. like obviously there's always gonna be more right for sure but a lot of our core animated pieces mm -hmm. we have covered yeah we've talked about you know steven universe and, and how to train your dragon and avatar and, and full metal, full metal and, yeah, like, full metal. <laughs> like we've <laughs> talked about all of those things that had a really big impact on us over the years and obviously we will have many more to come um but as far as like my era of being super in depth, spending hours and hours and hours binging anime, that that time of my life, that season of my life is over. Mm -hmm. That's just what it comes down to. And, you know, everyone has different seasons in their life. And I don't think it's like um, a bad thing. I think it's a great thing that we all become different people throughout our lives and um, are pursuing different things and our values and interests shift. And, um, and I just don't, again, like I said, I don't want it to just dissolve. Like I want to end things properly. And like, you know, looking back on this podcast, again, it's been very successful in teaching me a lot of things and connecting with a lot of people. So thank you for listening. Like it's been successful in connecting with my friends, um, connecting with new friends who are out there you know, who followed the podcast or been on the podcast or we've collaborated, like all of you who, who have been any of those things or listeners, like I'm so appreciative. Like I've been able to connect with so many people and that's been like a true blessing and a joy. Like I, I could not believe this podcast would reach as many people as it has. And it's so hard to be retiring the podcast knowing that as well mm -hmm. knowing that there are so many dedicated listeners and that's why like and this isn't just like you know one of those pushes to like I don't know it feels almost disingenuous at this point to be like go follow me at this and this and this but like truly go follow me on Instagram at candor draw k-a-n-d-e-r-d-r-a-w and go follow the fanimated YouTube and not for the follower count but for the fact that like I still want to connect with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I, it, the more things will be happening. Like, I'm the kind of person who can't not make things. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. um, more content will be made. So please follow me and like connect with me in other in other ways and other forms. Because like, it is hard to retire something 
like this when this podcast reaches so many people and still has such a listenership um but yeah like it's been an amazing five years and Mm -hmm. so yeah I've connected with lots of people I've learned a lot I've connected with my friends I've you know learned new skills and like I mean like I've talked I have I was on a video call with some of the creators of Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah, that was crazy. I feel like I've reached pinnacles that I never (laughs) thought I would reach, Mm -hmm. you know? And so, like, I, again, like, this podcast has been successful in every way I can imagine. Um, And I'm really proud of it, and Mm -hmm. I'm really happy to have it. And, like, I know I'll be going back and listening to episodes whenever I need an uplifting (laughs) moment, you know? And I hope listeners will, too, like... It, you know, you can just find it all on the YouTube channel as long as YouTube will survive. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Which will be who knows how long. Um, and so, yeah, it's just been crazy and good. And I want to celebrate that and end things properly. Yeah. That was really well said, Kelly. Oh my gosh, thank yes. you. I'm very proud of you. And this podcast has been such a fun journey to be a part of. And it's really awesome to see how it's grown and changed over time. I've loved being there uh, for you in the good moments and the bad and the Mm. difficult uh, like creative blocks and the blossoming creative moments Mm. and it's just been really fun to see the podcast and I really think it's awesome that you're honoring it with a strong end because it's like a good show you know like we don't appreciate a good show without a good ending because that's when we're like we appreciate its fullness and Mm -hmm. The fact that we can go back to it, like, yeah. because it's not going on forever, you know? And that's exactly. where it starts to, like, feel like, ugh, like, okay, just get on with it already. So um, I think this is what you have done over the last five years has been really awesome. And I'm very excited for your next journey. So thank you for letting me be a part of it. It's been a blast. Oh, thank you for being a part of it. Emma, you're making me cry. <laughs> um, What's new? Oh, it's new. <laughs> We're about just crying over here. It's fine. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a wild one and I definitely couldn't have done it without you and so many others. And yeah, like everyone who's supported on Patreon, everyone who's been on the show, everyone who sent me a message on Instagram, like it, it's, it has been ups and downs. It's been a journey and like, I'm excited to like process it from the other side, Mm -hmm. you know, and because still being in the midst of it is kind of crazy. And, um, uh, yeah, I'm just, I cannot believe yeah, we're here. <laughs> I know. I mean, it really is crazy that it's been a five-year project. Because, I mean, we went to Nebraska and did a panel. Yeah, we were. That we recorded for this podcast. Like, yeah, we, you know, like. We had people at a convention come listen to us talk for an hour. Like, think about the things that you've gotten to do it's just so crazy and awesome like yeah and you get to just hold that forever because like you can listen back on those conversations anytime exactly and so it's been a really special special time and i'm so grateful you emma and everyone who's listening has been a part of this journey with me Mm -hmm. it means a lot and i love you all so much oh we love you (laughs) oh my goodness okay so really quick Again, I'll go through all the dates and all the little details one more time so you can hear them all. Uh, um, okay, so final episode, September 26th. So we're going to start next week here, August through September. There are going to be five episodes every other week, ending on September 26th. All, all of the episodes will be available on all podcasting platforms until December 31st, after which you can find us on YouTube. At Fanimated, or if you type in Fanimated Podcast, either one. Uh, Fanimated Podcast might get you, get you there sooner. There will be a link somewhere that you'll easily be able to find that. Um, and so, like, you know, I will I will pop in for art live streams. I will pop in with random videos about something I'm thinking about. I highly doubt I will completely abandon the platform <laughs> because I can't not make things, but animated in this form that you're, you know, consuming it right now will no longer be avail- available. So yeah, thank you. And, and 
we're not done geeking out because not only do we have five more episodes, we have this episode. So, <laughs> Emma. Yes. For the final time, can I ask you, what have you been watching recently? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Oh. Okay. Um, so, I have also had some time to reflect this summer. And this summer, um, I, I'm i a teacher, so I get summers off. Woohoo. Um, <laughs> I've had a lot of time on my hands, but I have decided to not spend all of it binging anime because (laughs) they're just other priorities in my life now, um, including the people in my life or my health or, you know, finding my love of reading again. That's been amazing. Yes. It's been so good. Um, But I have gotten to watch some anime. It's just not like, I'm just not binging anymore. And you know what? (laughs) I'm okay with that. Like, I'm okay with treasuring one thing at a time. So. Um, a couple of things that I've been watching. Um, one, I've been re-watching Demon Slayer with my husband because he's never seen it before. We just finished um, the movie, The Mugen Train. And I got to tell you, that show is so great. Like, <laughs> I just, I, like, I was thinking in my head while we were getting ready to re-watch it. Um, because originally I was like, oh, season three's out. I'm going to watch it. And then my husband was like, will you re-watch the beginning with me? Because I've never seen it. And I'm like... Uh, do I want to watch it all again? <laughs> um, not because I don't love the show, but because in my mind it was like, well, it's shonen and it's like kind of similar cycle a lot. And then as we were starting, but I went along with it. And as we were starting the beginning, I was like, wow, this show is so good. I love that it is shonen, but it's like got so much more depth to it mm. that you can appreciate it a lot more and just bond with the characters and um, so I've just really been enjoying it, especially because it's a delightful balance of like really dark moments and super hilarious moments. Yes, absolutely. like once you get the trio together, it's just like it's what ins- is insanity. life? Insanity. <laughs> so um, anyway, that has just been an absolute joy to rewatch. I'm excited to. Um, watch the Entertainment District season and then get on to season three. Yay. Um, because honestly, I don't need to be fully up to date on time. I'm gonna get to season three when I get to season three. Yes. Um, so that has been so much fun to rewatch. Um, a couple of the newer things I have um, been watching Code Geass. Yeah. And I really love it. Yeah. It's uh-huh. so good. Like, mm-hmm. just. Uh, it's all about like social political war yeah. and just seeing these two sides, but also hidden identities of people that like mm-hmm. you see as a friend in one circle and on another political circle, you're completely different. Um, and so I've just really been enjoying that show. It is much older animation, but it's really fun. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, like <laughs> if you don't know what it is, which I like, if you're an anime watcher, I feel like you would know Code Geass. But, like, if you are an anime watcher and somehow don't know Code Geass but are up to date with newer things, like, Code Geass is the OG Attack on Titan. Like, Code Geass did it first. Sure. You know? Yeah. It's the same vibe, in okay. my opinion. Like, yeah. political drama with giant... Mech. Mech but slash... But they have titans instead. Slash monsters. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Exactly. And I was a little hesitant to start this anime um, because of the mech suits. Because I've watched Mm. several anime with mech suits and they just kind of blend together for me. And I, so I haven't always, there are some really good ones, but some of them just kind of, yeah, it feels like the same thing over and over again. And it's just like, I don't want to keep watching episodes of robots fight each other. (laughs) Have you watched Evangelion? I have not, no. Uh, no, that's, huh? that's a mecha one we're yeah. watching. I know. That's a more, like, classic anime, too. Yeah. Um, one at a time, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to mech, I... Uh, not your vibe. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, I've always struggled with that one, so I was kind of hesitant to start this one. Um, but then when I realized, like, that was not the main topic, because I feel like some it's like, it's all about these cool robots and what they can do and the action scenes, which yeah. can be fun for a moment. Um, but this one's definitely more about the drama mm-hmm. between these all these different sides in the political, social world, and I'm just I'm really enjoying it. It's it's a lot of fun. 
Um, and then when they start to like introduce romance, I'm like, girl, this guy don't even have romance on his mind. No. Like, <laughs> not a priority. This is not the him. time and place for this. No. <laughs> so that has been a joy. Um, I, uh, the last one that I've been watching, ha- I've watched, um, Romantic Killer is on Netflix. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> have you seen so it? So good. Yes. Oh, yes. Emma. Emma. It's one of my new favorite um, rom-coms ever. It's so good. Oh my I God. love it. It's so good. Just a quick synopsis. is just this girl who's obsessed with her cat, chocolate, and video games, which... Can you blame her? Those are great things to like, (laughs) but it's so much that that's all she's consumed with in her life. And so this wizard pops up into her life, put, makes her life into a dating sim game essentially. And by the way, every time they do the animation of the dating sim, I get freaked out, but it's okay (laughs) because it's a hilarious show. And this, this girl is so like determined to make the game fail and not like have any romantic relationships develop, but over time she really bonds with all these guys, and not yeah. necessarily romance yet, just like really good friendships. It's a celebration of platonic relationships. It really and is it's so good. Yes, because I mean, obviously the whole time we're like, oh my gosh, she'd be great with this one, but also this one, he, they would be great as a couple. But they're all just friends. Yeah, they're and just like. A Under a crazy circumstance. Crazy circumstance that has absolutely no, like, real life basis. But, like, I love it. Because, like, sure, now they all just live together for some reason. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right, this crazy right. accident happens. And now they all have to live together. And, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's like Fruits Basket. And they're all living together. And it just right. makes for some more interesting dynamics. And it's great. Yeah. So, that was so much fun. Because it just would make me laugh all the time. And, like... Um. Yeah, I the the wizard was a little annoying for me, but oh, I love the wizard. <laughs> oh my gosh, I like the wizard a little bit more over time. At the beginning, they were like too much for me. Um, have, I mean, have they? Wait, have you finished the? Whole I thing? finished the whole thing. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, when they, ch- <laughs> I just like the next level of changing into like a humanoid version of themselves mm-hmm. to like further whatever random story. You know what I mean? It's yes. just like I love them so much. I think it's absolutely hilarious. And yeah. And ultimately that it's like they, you know, they are also friends. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Which is just really sweet. I don't know. I like yeah. Um they turning into the girl and the boy like yeah. at different points was really funny. I did like that. Cuz then then it was a little more like I can love this character a bit more because I see their human characteristics coming through because yeah. they're in a human body instead sure. of like a little tiny thing. But and, yeah, annoying you know. thing that the purpose is to be annoying. Yes. You know? mm-hmm. so, get this girl out of her comfort zone yeah. and all that. So that was a ton of fun so to good. watch. I really I enjoyed that. <laughs> it was great. Um, and then I guess my last what you watching is a what you plan. Hey, <laughs> you know and that would be Tears of the Kingdom. Hey. I have not made it. Well, <laughs> to say I've made it far is not saying much when it comes to these Zelda games <laughs> because oh there's you know open world you could go on forever. Um, but I, I feel that. yeah, I feel like I have. I haven't dived in super deep. I've definitely put in hours, but um, it is really. A beautiful world and I feel like I'm discovering the world again because yes. even though I've been to these places it all feels so brand oh, new they're different yeah and the world is three times bigger exactly because you got the sky and the depths and all that so going many things. yep and um yeah it's there's a lot of things to do and I'm just trying to take it one step at a time um but the hardest part for for me is um, there's a, a big building aspect to the game. Mm-hmm. And I've gotten more of the hang of it, but it's it's not my favorite thing. It, Listen, I'm not an engineer. I <laughs> don't find a particular joy in having to build something in the exact right way. Or even just, I, it's, I don't want to go around just having fun building things. Some people will love that. They're like Minecraft 
people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's awesome because the great thing about this game is you can play it however the heck you want. And I go through the entire thing building as little as possible. And that's okay. Totally. Yeah. In a lot of shrines, it's so funny how I will use a different power to get around the building part. I use the time one, like, so much. I... It is OP. I I <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I like the ascendability, like because mm. I feel like you can get past a lot. But even with the things that you do, you're forced to build to get out of the shrine. Like it is funny because my husband's also playing the game and we do things very differently yes. and, but they both work. And that's, that's the beauty of the game is like, you yeah. get to do it how you want. Exactly. And so I'm really enjoying it. Um, I am gathering more horses because I was not able to save my previous horses, oh, but seven. it's okay. I've got a Taki and a Toru and, Good. um, a golden horse, but you what? know, <laughs> whatever. I don't know if that's a spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> You can cut that part out. No, um, I won't. Uh, but spoiler for me, though, I am not. You don't. You haven't found the golden horse. No. Damn. <laughs> We're doing different things, I guess. I don't know. I'm busy. Like, you, you know. You heard nothing from me. I know nothing. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry, no. I didn't. No, hear it's fine. I just always assume you're ahead of me. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. I could have spent more hours, but I could have gone in a different direction. That's true. That's true. You know, like, do. I, I'm trying, I'm like, do I, I don't even know what I can pretend to spoil for you, but like, <laughs> yeah. I've, you know, um, I, cause who knows, maybe I even passed that area and didn't even notice or didn't yeah. even listen, wasn't talking to people or wasn't whatever. Like, yeah. There are so many things in that so game to, to look at. So, I and I am determined to see it all. So I am like, I literally on my map in the sky. I put pins on every single island I've been on because oh. I want to go on every single island that exists in the sky. Okay. And so I'm, I am meticulous. And yeah. It is very fun to me. Well, that's, like that's my kind of fun. Well, that's smart though, because like the islands in the sky look so similar to each they other do. that I'm like, have I been here? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> have you been to the Death Star yet? No. What? Okay. Well, spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Uh, you will understand when you when you get there. Got it. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yep, that's the bulk of what I have been doing as far as anime watching and oh, last one. Uh, for date night, I rented my friend Totoro. Oh, fun. Because I've seen a lot of Ghibli, Ghibli films. But to me, a lot is like five or six or seven. And so I haven't seen all of them. And so this is my first time watching my friend Totoro. I loved it so much. I actually sobbed. Like I did because there's this moment where um, the girls find out something about their mom. It's like three quarters into the show. They find something out about their mom and it gets them upset. And the littlest girl is just like yelling out like, it's not fair. It's not fair. And I just like utterly sobbed because I was like, she just doesn't understand. Like she just wants her mom. Like, and I just, I had no idea because the whole story is very sweet. Yes. I had no idea it was going to hit me like Uh a rock, Yeah, but it did. So good. It was beautiful. Oh my goodness. So, yeah. That's, there's there's the animation I've been watching. <laughs> yeah. That is so good. Colin and I, like, we've been watching a couple of different um, Ghibli film, films as well. Um, most recently, um, Princess Mononoke, which was oh, yeah. his first time watching it. Um, it's so good. It's still so, it's just like, oh my yeah. gosh. I, I, yeah, every time I watch that one, I'm like, this one's my favorite. But then you watch the next one, and you're like, actually, this one's this my favorite. This one's my favorite. Michael always says, I can never get that image of him, sh- or the person shooting the hand off of the, with the arrow. Like, oh, remember that, that one at specific? The very yeah, at the very beginning. Yeah. It's like, I can't get that visual like, out of my head. <laughs> shoots, like, decapitate someone. Yes, with, with an, an arrow. arrow. It's pretty, yeah, this one's not for kids, folks, but, yeah. um, 
A beautiful film, regardless. <laughs> <laughs> it's about yeah. nature. It's so And relationships good. between nature and humans and, and all that. And industry. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Um, but other than that and Tears of the Kingdom, I have not been watching animation at all. Like, again, like I said. Um, I've... I'm almost done watching Downton Abbey for the first time. Oh, uh-huh. I love that show. We literally have one episode left. Dang. Have you seen the movies? No. And then well, we're going to watch the movies. Okay, I was going to say, if we need to borrow them. <laughs> I've got them all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's been, like, literally, I think we, I don't even remember. We must have started after Christmas. This is my roommate and I. Well, well Kate. You all know Kate. <laughs> She's on the podcast. <laughs> oh, <well>. um, <laughs> Me when I forget the case on the podcast. <laughs> Sorry, Kate. Um, but yeah, Kate and I are watching Downton Abbey, and we must have started in January sometime. Because when I was home over Christmas, I'm digging through the giant DVD bin and see that my mom has five seasons of Downton Abbey. So I just brought them back here, and now of course we're on the sixth and final season. But we've been slowly checking through them, and like literally last night we watched like the like two episodes and i don't know if you remember the the last season and no spoilers but just like the most devastating episode of downton abbey is the second to last episode that we just finished because like hor two horrible things happen and i am absolutely fed up with mary this will mean nothing if you haven't watched it but i'm absolutely (laughs) fed up with her she does not deserve a happy ending and i want to throw a table (laughs) Aww. That's how I'm feeling right now. Ask me again once I finish the show. <laughs> yeah. I have a soft spot for Mary. But I understand. But. Okay. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Maybe I see my, too much of myself in Edith. I can see that. Yes. <laughs> anyway. I'm, I'm more of a Sybil. All right. Yes, I see that mm-hmm. as well. I see that. No, I am an idiot. I am an idiot. That's not even a question. Um, but it is an excellent show. And obviously I knew that I would love it when I watched or like as soon as I actually got to it. But I just never watched it when it was coming out. Mm-hmm. Even when all my friends and my family were watching it. I That's okay. Didn't. You watched it exactly when you needed to. Exactly. Like I always say on this podcast, sometimes you just gotta like, something will hit you at the right moment, the right time. Sometimes it's not the right time for something, even if it's good. Mm-hmm. But this was the right time for Downton. Yeah. Good. I'm anyway, glad. nothing else animated. I still haven't seen the Spider Verse movie. <gasps> Me either. Uh, I want to see it so badly. It's, it's been nagging at me that I need to go. I really want to see it in theaters before it leaves theaters. Like, it's a high priority for me. Please hit me up. Honestly, like, I'm highly considering going this week. Oh, you're going to be gone. Dang it. Ah! <laughs> okay, we'll go anyway, because it's, it's a high priority. <laughs> it is. It's a high priority. So I can't even talk about that, because, again, I, I haven't been watching I've heard much. such good things. I'm oh so excited. God. Yeah, I've... If it's anything like yeah. the last one. I was going to say, if it's anything similar to the first one, it'll be great. It'll be f- gorgeous. Awesome. Mm. Anyway, so let us know if you've watched it and if you love it. Um... Yeah, I think that's I think that's it. I think that's all we have to say. That wraps it up. I kind of that's a, that's a wrap, folks. Um, thank you for being here for the final what you're watching episode. Um, Thanks remember, for having me. Always, always. <laughs> Make sure to stay tuned because um, Emma will be back in the middle of August for our final episode together, which is a really lovely episode. So, um, final episode again is September 26th. Subscribe to the Panimated YouTube channel so you don't miss anything um, as we go into this transition period. Um, And just thank you so much for all your love and support over the past five years. It really means a lot. Um, You have made this podcast possible by donating, um, by listening, by interacting, and having fun online. So thank you. Um, And I'm, yeah, I'm just continue to be in awe of such an amazing community of animation fans and so y'all are fantastic um as always the music is written by Jamie Krause the art is done by myself you can follow me on Instagram at candor draw 
Thank you, Emma, for being here. You're welcome. And until next week, stay tuned. And stay animated. Welcome! My, I'm Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Marker. <laughs>